Okay, what I've gone ahead and done is I've leveled as best I can the mounting rails so when I go to drill uh, it's parallel to my uh, workbench top and that way when I go to drill straight down I know I've at least aligned it as best I can to uh, the surfaces that I'm uh, parallel to. So I've gone ahead and verified both ways and I'm on center on both axes but mostly I'm concerned about uh, this axis to uh, keep it level so what I did is I weighed it down with some sandbags that I've filled uh, some ziplock bags and uh, taped those off and on this end I raised up the wing on a uh, padded block that I put underneath the wing tip and then underneath the trailing edge I placed another padded block so I could raise this side up to make the landing gear rails parallel and with that as flat as possible I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes now knowing that I've got this aligned as best as I can to make those holes as perpendicular as possible to uh, the landing gear rails themselves on this plane. So then my next step is to go ahead and uh, drill those holes. Okay, so first what I did is I measured the size of the holes and I divided that by half so I could get the center line for each hole. And then I took that measurement and I verified what it would be on my uh, ruler in millimeters and it's four millimeters for each hole so I took my ruler and I measured each hole and then I lined it up marked off my center line and I just used a pin to mark off because a pencil would be too big and then once I found each center point I used my punch to indent each hole on the center point if you want to call it that to drill each hole and then I take my cordless drill and I'm just going to use the weight of the drill since we're just dealing with soft plywood here and I line it up pretty much by eyeball we're not talking about a huge thickness here so we just want it to be aligned on both axes so what I do is I come around on each side and that looks pretty good right about there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill that and uh, make the hole we're not looking for perfect hole yet we just want to have a hole started with each one so that we can begin to uh, check the holes with the mounting plate and one last one this one may be a little there we go care of that. Now we're ready to clean that up and try out the screws and 
put the mounting plate on. Okay, so I took my screw and I checked each hole. Also, that's a good way to clean out any extra uh, wood chips that might have gotten in there, wood shavings from the drill. So I'm just testing each hole and it fits snug. No looseness, so that's good. So now that I've verified that, I'm going to put the retract in and we'll see how it aligns and uh, if it's right, we'll bolt it down. So I'm going to put the retract in now. Move this out of there a little bit. And again, like I said before, uh, it made this job a lot easier when I aligned this uh, mounting rails uh, parallel to my work surface so that when I used my drill I wasn't at an angle and I had to offset that. All I had to do is make sure my drill was straight and then I could drill straight down and I knew that I was making nice straight holes in here. So uh, that makes the drilling a lot easier if you go ahead and make the drilling surface parallel to your work surface so that you know that your holes are going to be straight and you don't have to worry about trying to align it. There's one screw fits in nicely. You get the other ones, hold on. Okay, I've got the last screws here to put in. Everything's going in nice and dandy. Real easy. Perfect. Flush mounted and aligned just right. This is flush for that edge, which is what we want. And now the only thing is these screws on this side are probably a little long so I might cut those down or use a shorter screw just so I'm not having so much uh, thread hanging off on that end. But under here there's a nice amount of screw. I don't know if I can see it from this angle. Probably not. Yeah, I really can't. Sorry. Anyway, the screws are going to be used bolted down with lock nuts. I think I mentioned that before but it's worth mentioning again, I would never trust a regular washer and uh, nut to hold this in place, especially when it's going to be in the wing and, and we need to make sure it stays in place. Yeah, I've secured the bolts to the rails on the mounting plate with some nuts underneath here and I've tightened those up. And I just wanted to go and show you a quick demonstration of the <coughs> landing gear. Now without having to hold it down with my other hand, you can see it opens up and closes nicely and no obstructions anywhere. And we've done a nice job of getting this in place and we're ready to tackle the right wing and do, do the same thing. And when we're finished with the right wing, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, airline installations. Uh, I want to get that done before we start look, thinking about covering the bottom of the wing with, with sheeting. And then we'll, uh, I'm going to do a demonstration to show you how the airline assembly is put together. And I'll show you how it actually works. And uh, that's it for now.